Hey everybody, um, been a while since I made a video, a uh, little bit different format, it's going to be all top down, I'm going to see if, I don't know, it looks okay. Um, I am picking the Asa Twin 6000 today, uh, it's got a 599 sidebar, um, reversible with demo bidding, so it's feasible that this might have been a lock carried around by a, a salesman or something from Asa. Um, so it's kind of cool. It's one of my most interesting in my possession. Probably my favorite lock of all time, just based on how much trouble it's given me. Um, works beautifully. The only complaint I'd have about it is how tough it is to pick, but that's not a complaint. So it's just made my life uh, difficult for a long time. So we're going to use a 50 thousandths pry bar on the top. It'd be nice to have one that fit a little bit better than this, because um, you have to have really good control over the core. But this is what I have. It's as thick as it goes, so um, we're gonna try it out. And then it's uh, this is a 15 thousandths standard hook from Peterson. Okay, nothing on one. A little click got a two, and I'm using medium tension. Um, I'm gonna actually start from the back. Six is unmoving. I'll click on five. Click on four. Three. There. Click. And one here. Okay. I got the movement on the core. I might have touched six more than I thought I did. It's kind of a a no no lift um, so I hope it's not in the, the counter milling okay let's let's try that though um, so now it's uh, controlling the the tension wrench quite a bit so you really ease up and you can see nothing dropped from just easing up so that's good news um, so light tension one two three, these are all springy, four is binding, and yep, five is binding. So I'm gonna give five a click there. See if I can get four. Okay, five dropped, bring up four, go back to five. These two like to, to ping pong a little bit. Four and five feel good. Lost my my spacing. All right, one, two, three. And those are binding. Four, three, two. Okay, two a little bit. Okay, let's crank up tension a touch. All right, three is binding now. Two, three is my max lift. So we're gonna force that bad boy up. Check four and five again since I'm there. Okay, let's move back to the front. One, two, three, four, five. Those all feel good. Crank up tension again. All right, touched three, got a little more rotation on the core. Yep, so one is binding now. Okay. think I'm, I'm jiggle testing all these they're all they all got the same amount of movement I think they're all in their true gates all right so keep a, a mid tension you've got to release some and if you drop a finger pin it's not the end of the world but we're gonna go to the back of this lock check that six feels right okay yeah that's good Five feels right. Those are my, my barely lifts, so you want to avoid the counter milling at all costs if possible. Four I got a little click out of. And it feels like it wants to counter rotate. Okay, there, click out of four. Three, click out of three. 
to two is feeling unmoving. Let me reduce tension and wiggle here. There's nothing from two. I think three dropped. No, maybe not. Okay, let's check one. Dropping finger pins, or side pins, I should say, not finger pins. All right, let's. Let's move back to the side pins. How did it do? All right, one is no longer binding. Two feels set. Three feels set. Four and five. Okay, let's crank tension and see. Yeah, one, one will bind, okay. Let's do that. Still got a fair amount of tension on. Check the front. Two. All right. There we go. Click on three. Might have been what was holding us up. Click on four. Five, six. Let's check two. Check one. Okay. Those all feel set. Go back to sidebar. Okay, two, three, okay, I think we might just be pin one and have an open. But I've been wrong before. All right, I think that's set for one, two. One just dropped again. Four and five. Six, five, four, three. That was it. Again. Must keep dropping. And I think it's a thing, like a side pin, and it's not. All right, one is binding tightly. So I think hey, there we go. I don't know how long that was, but um, I don't know. I'm excited to have it on video, regardless. Um, let's go ahead and set these aside. Move that there. And we're going to take this and switch it out for this sweet tray. Um, got this from a guy from Lockpickers United, uh, Tim Digby. Um, he's starting up a company, so if you want one of these, I'll put a link in the description. It's made of solid brass. thing is freaking awesome. Um, and he's also starting a, a lock company as well, so with picking in mind, obviously, given <laughs> the, uh, the group he's a part of. So we're going to gut this beast. Oh yeah, and of note, the, um, let me pull these out real quick. The other side of this thing, made for disc detainers, so that's also sweet. And this thing's just freaking heavy. I love it. Can't say enough good things about it. All right, um, I know, I'm sorry, I just, I mumble a lot. We're gonna use this, it's my favorite cutting tool, it's a little mag light mini. And do, do, do. we will start it. Get my hand on the sidebar here. Beautiful. All right. Trusty tweezers. Sidebar. I'm sure you can't see all the 
milling on that. So we'll take a look at it when push comes to shove. Then we'll roll away. And let's get these springs out too. Be kind of tough. Do not want to lose these. Do -do. There we go. And we can drop some key pins now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get those arranged. You know, honestly, the brass might be kind of hard to see in this. We'll, we'll get a good close up regardless, but. And you can see, uh, I don't actually know if you can see, but um, I'll bring it up here real quick. You can see the side pins there. They will obviously match the bidding to this sidebar. Um, and we'll pull the key, you can, you can watch them wiggle. And these side pins, I mean the milling on them is just, it's so sharp. Like, I don't even know how to explain how sharp it is. But there, there is no option to, to bully these things uh, as much as you want to. It's just, it's just not. You have to work completely on tension. Um, and if you drop something, you just got to deal with it. That's, that's pretty much it. Um, all right, we're going to start over here at the fifth one. Slip that up. Fourth. Second and first. And then I'm just going to go ahead and dump those side pin springs in the little tray here because they're hard to get out. And we'll drop them in here for fun. Doo -doo. Five. And last thing is going to be getting these driver pins out. These beautiful chins. Alright, one. And we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and pull one out close up here. Two, three, four, and I'm going to slide this back through, go around to the other side, start at six again, and do, do. it's just a lot easier than reaching all the way in there. I'm sorry, I mumble so much. I'm not a video maker. Last one, five, little baby gin bottle. Okay, there's that. Let's now dump these springs out. Okay, is that six? One, two, three, yeah. We'll go ahead and, and put them in place just to waste more time. All right, <sighs> that's it. Let's get uh, let's get a couple couple glory shots. Let's take a look at this sidebar because these things are nasty. Let's actually pull the camera down. Yeah, that's the stuff. All right, you can see. 
those things have just such good milling. It's so thin and they're so freaking sharp. Um, let's go ahead and zoom in on these. Gin bottle spools. You can see those two false gates on top and bottom for both of these. I'm gonna set this back in here. Get both hands on this so I can maybe be a little more steady. And the last thing would be this here. The uh, the edges on these side pin chambers, also insanely sharp, right? And then inside here, you can see on both directions, you've got counter milling. Um, in everywhere except three, which I'm just noticing right now, actually. So that's kind of interesting. But um, yeah, you know, my camera's doing pretty good at picking that up too. But that counter milling, man, if you get into it badly and you follow the core into a false set too tightly and you don't just ease up on tension, that'll just kill you. So, um, yeah, that's it. Um, sick brass tray, sick lock, uh, lock pickers united. Not much else to say. Uh, coming in at 16 minutes, that's a pretty long video, but uh, sometimes that's the way the cookie crumbles. All right, I'll uh, maybe keep picking more, but let me know what you think of the format. <laughs> Thanks.